hello guys welcome to wix ideas in this video i'm going to show you how you can use your url to scroll to any section of your website for your site visitors and also how to automatically scroll a user to any section of your website when the page loads so for me i'm going to be scrolling my site visitors to this specific quote calculator which is right here this is a functional quote calculator that i have made a tutorial a full tutorial step by step on how to set it up the link is in the description below so you can do well to check it out and also to use the code now i want to scroll my site users using the url and also automatically scrolling them to this section when my page loads so if you're excited to join me in this please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up now you can also go ahead and turn on your notification to be the first to know when i upload future videos now let's start with using the url that actually scrolls them to this section now what you need to do first of all is to inspect this page we don't need to write any code we just need the id of this specific section so to inspect the page right click on your browser and head over to inspect now i'm using a chrome browser maybe you have a different browser you can go ahead and look for the inspect page or something that can actually open up the code section for you now what i need to do is to get the id of my section which is right here so make sure that this um, icon here is selected and you can go ahead and select the section that you want to be scrolled to now what we need to get is id of this section element so as you can see i'm trying to get the id of this section the whole section here and the id appears to be this comp dash 13 and so on so i'm going to go ahead and copy this id and i'm going to go over to my url here and i'm going to add a hash and i'm going to add that id that i have just copied now once you hit on enter it's going to jump you or bring you straight to this specific element now once we copy this and open on a new tab it's also going to do the same thing and bring you straight to that element when you load url now this is one way to do this so let's say you want the user to be automatically scrolled to that section when the page loads we need to add a bit of which code so first of all this is my editor and i want to scroll them to this section now what i need to do first of all is to turn on the dev mode here and that is going to enable us add a few lines of code now disregard all of this code this is just for the quote calculator to work we only need two lines of code and this is going to be functional now what we need to import is a library called the wix location Now, the wix location takes us to anywhere on the website or to a different website but since we want to scroll to a section of our website we need to also indicate that here now inside of my onready function which is a function that runs when the page loads and it also loads all our code when the page loads all right so here inside of my already function i'm going to go ahead and call the wix location dot to and here i'm going to add a url that is going to be scrolled to when my page loads and since my element is on the home page right here this is my home page as you can see that means i'm going to be adding the path for my home page and just a forward slash is enough to redirect you to the home page when the page loads all right so what i need to do is to add the id of the element i want to scroll to and before we we get there let's say you want to scroll to a different page entirely maybe uh, your about page or your contact page you want to scroll to a form there so i'm going to go to um let's go to the cv page so this is a, a different page that you know has the cv and uh, some things here so let's say we want the user to be able to download uh the full cv and want we want to scroll them to this specific button when the page loads what we need to do is to get the path for that particular page and when we click on these three option uh three dots for the option go to the seo basics and then under the seo basis you're going to find the path for or the slug that you're going to use for this specific page now copy this particular slug and then we're going to go back to our home page we're going to put the page as our path now this is going to let us know that when the page loads we want to go to this page 
and then we also need to indicate what element we need to scroll to now before we indicate that let's first of all preview this website now i'm currently on the home page but when i preview this website it's going to take the user to the cv page now this is the cv page it has redirected them to the cv page but again i want to scroll the user to this specific button here now what i need to do is to go back to my editor and next i'm going to click on this button element and i'm going to open up the properties panel and as you can see this is the properties panel if you can't find yours just toggle this and it's going to show for you and what i need is the id of this specific element so copy this id and bring it back to your home page where we have our code originally now once you're back in the home page we're going to go back to our wix location here add a hash and then add the id so this means that when the page loads it's going to redirect to our cv page and then scrolls us to this specific element now let's take a look at that now this is the home page let's preview now once you preview it's going to bring you to the cv page and then scrolls you to that specific button element all right so this is how you scroll to any page and to any section of your website but for me my content is on the home page so that means as you can see this is home and if you go to the seo basic you can see that there is no slug for the home page and that is why we just use a forward slash to just indicate that that is the home page so let's go ahead and get rid of all of these sections the forward slash is enough to bring us to the home page now the section i want to scroll the user to is this box over here and this is how i want the users to see the box when it loads so click on that box head to your properties panel here copy the id of the box bring it right over here add a hash and then add the id of the element now i'm going to scroll back up and i'm going to preview this website now when the page loads it's going to scroll you down to that specific box element so this is how you use code to automatically scroll your users to any section of your website and also how you use a url to scroll them to any section or any element of your website now if this was useful to you please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to be notified of future videos thank you very much and do have a great day